My name is Ian McCormick. I am a research specialist stationed on Mars, working for the UAC. My primary job is, or rather was, to assist Dr. Malcolm the Truger in a variety of experiments, though for the past year we've been focusing almost exclusively on teleportation. I don't know if I'll make it out of here alive, so I'm recording this video log to let someone know what happened, and with that knowledge, prevent it from happening again. Initially, the teleportation experiments were amazing. We were creating a new science, and the prospects of it changing our way of life were, well, they were outstanding. I was proud to be associated with such an amazing project and someone as talented as Dr. Petruger. We noticed early on, oh, probably before we had completed maybe a dozen successful tests, that there was a variable delay during the teleportation. The objects are broken down at the quantum level, transported, and then reassembled. Each stage of the process should have been instantaneous, but it, it wasn't, and we didn't know why. We sent a video drone through and were shocked at the images it sent back. Just a few frames of video right before the drone came back through showed what appeared to be several sets of eyes looking directly at the probe. We had just found a living, breathing creature that was not human. But Truger immediately sent out a request for volunteers. He specifically wanted UAC security force members because he wanted to capture one of these creatures. I've made a lot of mistakes, but I am most ashamed of my involvement during the next phase. To get medical clearance to send human subjects through the device, I... I doctored up several of our reports to indicate that we had performed living tissue experiments. I did not regret it at the time, but a few days later, when our third test subject came back, he was chewing off his own fingers. It seemed he was clinically insane. We started sending teams in about once every two days. The teams were reporting nightmarish experiences, sightings of things that ultimately made us conclude that the other dimension was not just another dimension. It was hell, and the creatures we were bringing back, demons. And then Petruger, he went through the portal himself. I, I don't know what he was thinking. It was an unscheduled trip, and he just went, and we couldn't stop him. And when he came back, he had changed. He sounded and looked the same, but he just... I, I don't know, he was just different. And then he did the unthinkable. He took the Soul Cube, the device that was discovered in the ruins, into the portal. The portal stabilizers just started to fail, and, and then... Living hell erupted into the base. Oh, we were stupid for not destroying the portals as soon as we realized what was on the other side. Oh God, forgive me. I blame myself for my part in this. Please, someone, never let this happen again. I'm sorry, Ian McCormick.